The Body's Defense by Judd Corbin and Makanaka. Enjoy. The humoral response. Here we can see a bacterium and a macrophage. The humoral response begins when a pathogen invades the body, releasing chemicals that attract macrophages. These phagocytes swiftly engulf and destroy the pathogen within minutes. Next, a macrophage becomes an antigen-presenting cell by combining the pathogen's antigens with MHC proteins on its surface. T helper cells recognize and bind to these antigens, triggering the T cells to clone themselves and become active. Once activated, these T helper cells stimulate B effector cells to differentiate into plasma cell clones. B cells bind to specific antigens and also transform into APCs, which attract even more activated T helper cells. These cells release cytokines, further stimulating the immune response. The B cell clones then divide, producing plasma cells that generate large amounts of antibodies, targeting the pathogen for elimination. The cell-mediated response. In the cell-mediated response, when a cell becomes infected, it presents pathogenic antigens on its MHC proteins. Turning into an APC, T-killer cells bind to these antigens, releasing cytokines that activate T-helper cells. The activated T-helper cells bind to another infected APC, releasing chemicals that create pores in the cell's membrane. These pores cause the infected cell to burst, destroying both the cell and the pathogen it harbored. Thank you for watching.